hey friends welcome to my youtube channel in today's video we are going to learn how to make this bouncing ball animation let's get started create new file web yeah this is called our canvas and now we are this, this is called our timeline comes with two options create video timeline and create frame animation we are going with create frame animation if it doesn't look up over here you can go to windows and click timeline now we select the eclipse tool these are the shape tools we are going to select the eclipse tool click and drag while pressing the shift key to keep it in proportions now foreground color is added in the circle sometimes it may happen the foreground color doesn't fail in the object so in that case you have to press the alt and backspace key so it fills the background foreground color in the object now select both these layers as you select this the alignment toolbox appears above make sure the move tool is selected so alignment box will appear uh, if other tools are selected align box, alignment box won't be appearing above so select the move tool and keep it to the center of the left edge create frame animation now we are going to duplicate the frame this button is used to duplicate the frame click and now move the next frame to the bottom of our canvas select both these layers and make it to the center again duplicate yeah select this one and move it to the center of the right edge keep it to the center yeah now select create another frame again repeat the same process and make it to the center of the top edge again create, create five fifth frame and select both these layers and make it to the center now if you click the play button this is called the play button it is moving very fast we don't need that we have to create the delay between the frames this button is called twin button which is used to create the delay between the frames select first frame and click the twin button and you can add as many frames as you can and the more frame you add the more delay it will create between these two layers these two frames so we go with the 30 number uh, click ok now it has added 30 frames between the first and second frame now we are going to repeat the same process for next frame again we create the more 30 frame between 30 second and 33rd frame click the 32nd frame and yeah select this one and click twin again select 30 frame and click ok it did the same thing added 30 more frames yeah now again click twin button and click select 30 and click ok now again repeat the same process select 94th frame click twin 30 ok 
now select the first now you can see this is our smooth bouncing ball animation yeah I, I, it stops over here because you can see here we have selected once now select the forever and play again now we have put the whole project in forever loop it is yeah it is in the forever loop that's all from today i hope you have enjoyed the video and don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss anything